do do do. Hello to anybody watching now. I'm just waiting for some people to get in here. Do, do, do. I think we just tweeted things out. You're a bum, Jeff. But I'm glad you can hear me. You're the bummiest of bums. Oh, this is all very exciting. I've been like, I've had these 50 cards like just like waiting for a month now because I got this uh, pre-order thing like as soon as I could. It's vibrating, which I think means there's at least one legendary in there, which be kind of bad if there wasn't one. At least one. Whoops. I'm actually dropping my phone on my keyboard. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know the funny thing jeff i like i like you know spent the 50 bucks to do this and then like yes like the other week i'm talking to the blizzard pr and they're like oh did you uh you, did you want us to give you a code for those 50 cards i'm like no i actually i already spent my actual money on that which i guess is more pure anyways Well, why don't, why don't we get started here? People can, uh, can join in here once we get going, but let's Prepare see what... Yourself Ooh. For a day of the most impressive jousting, eye-popping sideshows, and the mightiest combat you've ever encountered. Alrighty, thank you, um... Shoot, why can't I remember that guy's name? He's the paladin who has Ashbringer. He was important in Wrath of the Ooh. It's always okay. Silent night. Ah, oh, silent night. That's funny. Um, that doesn't seem too bad. I don't know. It's, two two is not good for three, but divine shield and stealth is pretty nice. I don't know. I I, I don't know if you really want to play that on a three turn though. A three turn, you usually kind of want to get some attack power going. It's all right. Uh, Druid of the Saber transform to gain charge or stuff. So this is this is actually a pretty cool card. A two cost card that is three two and stealth. That's pretty good. This is obviously pushing for more aggressive druid decks. That'll be nice. This this card's too. Exp I, I mean, it's kind of nice, but it seems a little too expensive to be really too useful. It's a late game rare. Alex Straza's champion. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and charge. So this it's kind of nice because the um the last adventure was really pushing for dragons, Blackrock Mountain. It, and dragon decks didn't really become as big a thing as they want to. So it's kind of nice to see they're still doing some dragon synergy. And oh, I got two Silent Knights. How about that? Already, already repeat. So we're on the first uh, card pack. Not a great sign. Uh, eh, that's all right, I guess. I, they get pretty good value for four. I tell you, that might overtake a lot of like, uh, shield, yes, yeah, the shield bearer Shenjin's not gonna be any good with the evil heckler. Pit fighter. Whoa, this is rare to see just like a normal card without any kind of like extra things. Just a five six five draw. All right. Healing wave. Restore health. So this is interesting because this is um this is one of the joust cards. So e even restoring seven health for three mana is pretty good. But the notion that you could restore fourteen health with three mana if you win your joust. That's pretty ridiculous. So that that could be really good for like shop and control decks. I mean, that's gonna really help you outlast a uh, really aggressive deck. 
Holy Champion and Priest card. Yeah, okay, so this is this is similar to some other priest cards. You gain plus two attack whenever you heal a character. And oh jeez, man. Two holy champions. Alright, well at least I have all the holy champions I'll ever need. I can start collecting some dust, I guess. Alright, we got here. Oh, another just yeah, regular five nine or seven. Yeah. I can't imagine anybody actually playing that. Uh here's another one this is something else they introduced. I I think they started introducing these with uh Goblins vs. Gnomes, these ogre cards, and their whole thing is they have a 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't really want to risk that. Uh, so this is another Joust. If yours costs more than the other one, uh, you draw a card. So that's, you know, it's it's already a 3-2 minion. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some people call the uh, whole expansion uh, the, arc, the, the Dust Tournament, <laughs> which is maybe a bit harsh. But, you know, they're in a kind of... They can't make cards, you know, too overtly good. It, it, it is all about combos these days. Uh, if your hand... So this is my first Inspire card, which is activates when you do a hero power. If your hand is empty, deal two damage to the enemy hero. If your hand is empty... Oh, for Hunters. So that's like... That's like a really aggressive card thing here. I'm also, Brave Archer, and she looks almost exactly like Merida from Brave. That's funny. So, I, I don't know about Brave Archer, though. Alright. We got some legendaries in here. I can feel it. Bone Guard Lieutenant. Gain... Okay, this is a more traditional Inspire. More basic Inspire. You just gain plus one health. These, these are kind of nice. These Inspires that, like... You know, you just get a little bonus every time you use your hero power. Uh, okay, so this is a, this is kind of an interesting card that that's not an inspire, but it works around the hero powers, and it works really well with a lot of inspires. It's just a two six, but all of your hero powers now cost one mana. Man. Uh, another Alexstrasza's champion, Flame Juggler, Battlecry, deal one damage to a random enemy. So that could be pretty good early on when uh, you're dealing with some aggressive decks, especially you know you can get rid of a Leper Gnome or uh, kind of other one mana early cards this way. Murloc Knights, Inspire, Summon a Random Murloc. So this is really neat. So there's some potential for some Paladin Murloc decks. This, this is a Paladin-only card. So that's interesting. All yeah, right. Ooh, that one opened really intensely. Or maybe they all opened intensely. Maybe it's just in my mind. <laughs> there's like some loading between when I open my pack and when I'm allowed to actually look at my cards. All right, here we go. Another man in the lake. Got all those. Another Flame Juggler. Demon Fuse. Give a demon plus three, plus three. Give your opponent a mana crystal. Yeah, that's all right. Kind of reminds me of um, like the uh, arcane golem, where you, that that one just gives you a four two menu with charge, and then you give the other opponent a mana crystal. So that's that's not bad. Silverhand Regent. Summon a one one Silverhand Recruit as your inspire. So that's interesting because that basically just gives anybody the uh, paladin. Uh, hero power. The interesting thing is that if you play this as a paladin, you'll just summon two uh, Silverhand recruits each turn. Epic. Ooh, epic. Deal two damage to a minion. The spell gets double bonus from spell damage. So that's... There's a couple of those. Where, you know, like, like some cards will like do plus one to spell damage. Well, there's some cards that will do double that. So that's interesting. Oh, man, we've only done five packs. So many packs. All right, rare saboteur. Back right, your heroes, your opponent, uh, your opponent's hero power costs five more. Next turn. <sighs> See, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's really that important to make your opponent's hero power unplayable for one turn. Hero powers aren't usually that important. Bear trap. This is a, this is a new hunter secret. So after your heroes attack, summon a three three bear with taunt. So that's so basically for two mana. You're getting a free 3-3 three, three bear with taunt, and you're also doing it to protect your hero at an important point. So that's nice. Hey, look, my uh, brother just got a uh, another legendary. Shadow Pawn Rider. So this is a rogue combo. Gain plus three attack. So if you play this card after another card for five mana, this becomes a 6-7. That's pretty good. That's all right. Another rogue card. Call build, deal one damage. A 3-2, deal one damage. 
eh, it's, it's okay, but again, it's a combo, so you really need to play it on turn three with something else for it to be super effective. Agrimar Aspirant, Aspirant, something like that. Uh, Aspire, give your weapon plus one attack. So yeah, that makes sense for warriors. Next. Frigid Snowball. So spell damage plus one. So if we use that spell we got with this thing, we'll get plus two. Uh, otherwise, that looks pretty meh. Power Ward Glory, new piece. Choose a minion. Whenever it attacks, restore four health to your hero. That's pretty interesting. That could be good with some control decks. Oh, this is the new Mage Secret, Effigy. When a friendly minion dies, summon a random minion with the same cost. So there's a bit of a random moment to that, but interesting. Gadgetzan, Jouster, Battlecry, reveal a minion in each deck. If your costs more, gain plus one, plus one. So, so that's that's kind of interesting. Plus one, plus that. As far as turn one mana cards go, so there's a chance you're going to have a two three card on your first turn. So that's that's kind of interesting because that could give you a pretty decent advantage for a while there, and another demon fuse. So far, my brother, who's opening 50 packs, has two legendaries, so he's, he's beating me at the moment. Lance Carrier, Battlecry, give a friendly minion plus two attack. Okay. Uh, give your taunt minions plus two plus two. Okay, for Warrior, Bash, this is pretty simple. Get, deal three damage, gain three armor. See, I kind of like having like a nice simple card like that, though. What, you got another dread skill? Hey, mana! I mean, a uh, dust as guy. Get that dust. Inspire, give your totems plus two attack. So yeah, this is kind of interesting. You could, uh... Because, you know, you, some cards are totems, but totems are also the shaman's he uh, hero power. So with this Inspire, every time you summon a totem, you can also give all your other totems plus two attack. So that could really ramp up. And, man, my third Silent Knight. Alright, my first dust. Got dust. Eight cards in. Oh, you'll get more legendaries, AJ. Stop your whining. Bone Guard Lieutenant. Inspire. Gay plus one health. Yeah. Seems fine. Another Saboteur. Another Shadow Pan Rider. Ooh, an epic. Okay. Kodara Drake. Ah, this is cool. So this is... This will really work well with that Maiden of the Lake that makes your hero power cost one mana. You can use your hero power any number of times. So this is only for Mage, but, you know, this is pretty good because the Mage is the one one... You know, it does the one damage fireball. So you can kind of start clearing out some, uh, especially if your opponent is playing a lot of like low health minions, you can really clear them out with this thing. Seal of Champions. So this is kind of I like this card for Paladins. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like some other Paladin cards that just kind of buff enemies. This is a give a minion plus three attack and divine shield. So that's you know there, there's a card that gives minions plus three attack and there's a card that gives a minion divine shield. This kind of combines them. For just three mana, too. That seems pretty good. Alright, we got... Get those flower petals. Alright. Pit Fighter. 5-6. Another Druid of the Saber. Okay, Day of the Wild. This is an interesting Druid card. I was I actually talked about this as one of the maybe best looking cards in this. So whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. And for set, So it starts off 7 mana, and it's a 6-6. Six, six, but you can, you know, if you kind of make a real beast heavy druid deck you can play this guy pretty early so that's kind of an exciting card oh golden rare fencing coach battle cry the next time you use your hero power it costs two less so uh basically free hero power after you play this card so that's interesting uh tournament medics this is ah uh, so this this is a lot of help one eight that's interesting and every time you use your Inspire, you restore two health to your hero. So since this thing has so much health, it might last a while. So you can get, you know, two health every time you use your hero power for a bit after playing that guy. Ooh, alright. Master Jouster, reveal... Okay, so this is a Joust, and if you win your Joust, you get Taunt and Divine Shield. Otherwise, it's just a 5-6. So, you know, that's kind of the risk of the joust a five six card for six really isn't all that good but six banner for a five six with taunted divine shield that's pretty nice 
Ah, Fist of Jaraxxus. This is an interesting card. When you either play or discard this card and you deal 4 damage to a random enemy. So there's a lot of, you know, the Warlock hero power, uh, or let's say, there's a lot of cards for Warlock that will just discard random cards. Uh, so this could have some interesting play. What do we got? Another Gadgetian Jouster, another Bash. Ooh, an, a Gold Lance Carrier now. Here we go. I'm gonna laugh if I don't get a single legendary. Mukla's champion. So here's Aspire. Give your other minions plus one, plus one. So, uh, I guess I guess that could be okay. The thing is, he has three health. So unless you play this on turn seven when you have seven mana, so that you could play him and use a hero power. This, they're probably going to kill this guy. You're not going to be able to use that Inspire, so I don't know about that. Uh, Shady Dealer, if you have a Pirate, game plus one, plus one. So yeah, there's a lot more to trying to work in the Pirate Synergy. That's another thing. You haven't really seen those Pirate decks yet. All right, Dreadsteed. So, okay, this is an interesting kind of Warlock card. So it's just 1-1, one, one, but when it dies, it summons another Dreadsteed. So... Until somebody silences one of these guys, you're just going to keep summoning Dreadsteeds. And you can maybe use some cards to buff them up or something. So, it's just, it'll be interesting to see if people can do anything with that. Windwalker, not Wind Waker. Battlecry, give a friendly beast plus three health. That's pretty good. Four, 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 plus three health to a beast. So, again, if you're going to start seeing beast based uh, druid decks, this will be a decent card to put in there. And another bear trap. Alright, we got another power shot. Deal 2 damage to a minion and the minions next to it. So, uh, that, that might be a decent little board clear. For, for turn 3 anyways. Because, you know, at turn 3, your minions, your, you know, they're probably not going to have more than 3 minions. You'll probably be alright. Another Bookless Champion. Lowly Squire. So, uh... So this is alright. If, if you play this thing on turn 1... And then do your hero power on turn two. This card will be a two-two card, so that's that's not awful. Uh, another pit fighter, gold, and another maiden lake. All right, let's see. Thunderbuff Valiant, give your tomes plus two tech. Oh, I think we've had that guy. Another maiden. Living roots, deal two damage or summon two one-one saplings. Druid card. You know, that that could be a pretty good turn one card. Uh, it's too bad saplings aren't beasts, because that could really help out with some of the new, like, beast energy going on here. Another guy just saying Jouster. And another Pit Fighter. Lots of Pit Fighter. All right. Enter the Colosseum. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. This is a Paladin card. So if you're in a situation where your highest attack minion is a lot stronger than the other person's highest attack minion, this could be an interesting card to play. Especially against aggressive decks. Because turn 6 isn't too bad. So if you're playing somebody who's just playing a lot of really low attack power minions but like is overwhelming you with them, you could really clear a lot of those guys out. So that could be a good card. Uh, uh, Tiny Knight of Evil. Aw. Whenever you discard a guard, gain plus one, plus one. That's pretty good, actually, for 3-2, because Warlocks like to play their hero power. So, that that might not be bad. Not quite sure yet. We'll see how that goes. And some more repeats. Alright. I'm going to get a legendary one of these days, I know. Tournament attendee, 2-1 taunt. I don't know about a taunt with one mana. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Drain Eye Totem Carver for Shaman. Gain plus one, plus one for every friendly totem. That's not bad, because it's already 4-4 four, four for four. So that, that thing could be decent. Dollaran Aspirant, or Spirant, whatever though. Uh, Inspire, gain da uh, spell damage plus one. Eh, all right. There, I'll shot this champion. Flash Shields. This is an interesting priest card. Just um, one mana, heal, restore five health. So that's you know that's not not a bad value. 
you could use it for minions or whatever. So that's kind of interesting. Another bash. Coliseum Manager. Inspire. Return this minion to your hand. Huh. So I guess... So I guess, you know, if he's about to die, you can just use a hero power return to your hand. Then you can play him again with full health. I'm not sure how useful that'll really be. It's more repeats. Man. What do we got now? Polymorph Boar. Okay, I really like this card. So there's the Polymorph spell from Mage that turns a minion into a 1-1 one, one, uh, sheep. This turns uh, any minion into a boar, which is 4 slash 2 with charge. Now this is interesting because you can use this on your own minions or the enemies. So you can use it on an enemy minion to give them 2 health, which will make them pretty easy to kill. But you can use it on one of your own minions to, uh, so you can turn like a really weak minion into a four-two boar of charge, and then you know it'll it'll maybe be better. You can even use it with a minion that's already attacked. So you could you know maybe you have like a two-two minion or something. So you attack with it, use this card, make it a four-two boar of charge, then attack again. So I think that's interesting. Another woodwalker, refreshment bender. So this is three-five battle cry, restore four health to each hero. So that could be a decent control deck card. And some more repeats. Alright. Totem Golem. Okay. So, Shaman card. 3-4. Overload 1. Kind of, yeah. That, you know, makes sense. It's a good card for 2 mana, but you have 1 overload. That's, you know, that could be good for aggressive decks. I think I just need a Shady Dealer. So, this is, yeah, another pirate thing. We'll talk about that, I think. Boaster, okay. More repeats. Yep, seen him. Seen him. Power shot, hunter. Do oh, we did that. That's the t that's like the early area of effect spell. Bash and Lily Squire. Fierce up Doom Guard. So yeah, just seven mana for a six to eight. Yeah. Whatever. I guess the one thing I think about Fearsome Doom Guard is it's a demon, and there's some spells that would, like, just, you know, or there's Warlock things that'll summon a random demon or get a demon from your hand in there, so there's some synergy with that. Draw two cards, overload two for two mana? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Holy Champion, yeah. Let's see that guy. Man. Girl. Lights Champion. Battle Cry. Silence a demon. Well... Uh, I don't, I mean, you know, that, that might be good against Warlocks, but, you know, if you have this deck and you're not fighting a Warlock, it's like, eh, you just kind of have to hope you're fighting a lot of Warlocks. I don't know about that. Holster, Captured Dermugger, Bear Trap, Fit Fighter, and Armored War Horse. Okay. So this is another um, joust, and if uh, you win it, you get charged. Which, you know, a 5-3 minion for 4 mana that has charge is pretty good, but if you lose your joust, then you're stuck with a 5-3 minion for 4 mana that's not all that good. You know, and that's the thing with the joust, it's like, it's this risk-reward thing, but there's so many good cards now that are kind of sure things. It's like, well, why take the chance if you don't have to? I don't think I've had this. Inspire, Gate, plus two, plus two. Okay. Oh, first weapon. Argent Lance. Alright. Paladin, two for two, two. Reveal a minion in each deck if yours costs more, plus one durability. So, see, the Paladin already has, so, has like, good weapons. At least better ones than this. I, I don't know about that. I can't see that getting much use. But hey, I like Seal of Champions. That's a good card. No, get in there. Oh, so this is a druid card. This is kind of interesting. So you get 10 mana crystals, but you discard your hand. So if you're playing really aggressive, and you are already your hand's already kind of low anyways, maybe discarding your hand won't matter. Or even still, you know, if you have some other... 
if you have some other cards that will give you more cards, this, this could be interesting. Because if, if you have 10 mana crystals by turn 5, you could start playing some really expensive cards. So this is, a, this is an interesting card. This could lead to some really different things going on. Uh, Brave March, we've seen. Thunderbluff, Valiant, yeah. Dragonhawk Rider. Oh, we've seen this. So yeah, the inspire for this thing is you get Wind Fury for this turn. Of course, the problem is it has to survive a turn to be able to even use that. And that's like the one thing with a lot of these inspires is that you know you're you're spending two mana to use them. Catch him, Jouster. See him, my champion. Clockwork Knights. We haven't seen this. This is nice to see kind of still something being done with the mechs. And mechs were like a big part of the last expansion in Gongs vs. Gnomes. So this isn't bad. 5-5. Five, five, and you give a friendly mech plus 1 plus 1. Not great, but not bad. Man. Competitive Spirit. So new pound in secret. When your turn starts, give your minions plus 1 plus 1. So this is interesting because it... Most secrets are triggered by the opponent. This one is just... The next turn, all your minions get plus one, plus one. So for, for one mana, if you have a lot of minions on the board, especially, you know, you could be all right. Wait, why do you want me to make a Sega Saturn joke? You have to explain yourself. Explain yourself, badge guy. Silent Knight, Edge Sand Jouster. Argent Watchman, can't attack. Oh, but when you use your Inspire, then it can attack. Okay. For two, four, eh? Flash heal, silver hand regent. Man. Clockwork Knight. Oh, right, the Saturn game. Uh -huh. Buccaneer. Whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attack for rogue. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad for for rogues because. They can play this, then they can use their hero power to get their weapon on tier, turn two. Have it be a little stronger. King's Elec. Battle cry reveal minion in each hand. If yours is uh costs more, then draw it. Okay. Holy champion. Open, 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 open. We're going a little faster now. Uh Man. Oh, okay. Knight's Defender. If you have a menu with taunt, gain plus one durability. So uh, that's, okay. that's all right, I guess. Yeah, they're really pushing the idea of warriors having a lot of taunt minions. I, s I don't think we've seen this guy before. Five two for three. That's just I don't know. I don't know about that. Man. Wait, champion. What champion? Man. So many champions. Sparring partner. Taunt, battle cry, give a minion taunt. Again, warriors, they're really pushing taunts for warriors. Get in there. Clockwork Knight, Living Roots, see that. Competitive Spirits, see that. Powered Glory, yes, we've seen that. And Astral Knowledge, we see. So, oh, summon any random totem. That could be interesting. Armor Warhouse. Deer. Flame Lance. Deal 8 damage to a minion. So, this could be from basically for 5 mana. This is a, you know, get rid of a strong minion card. Which, I guess it's not bad. It's too bad you couldn't, you, you can't use this to the hero. Or else that would be incredible. So, yeah, that's not awful. Or you could just use a polymorph. Oh, two refreshment vendors. Jeez. Warhorse trainer. So this is this could be interesting. Your silverhand recruits have plus one attack. So if you you know use this with cards that summon a lot of silverhand recruits, this could get interesting. Wrathguard. Whatever this minion takes damage, also deal that amount to your hero. Okay, so for 4-3, that's the drawback, is that your hero's going to take damage. But that, still, that might be pretty good. Four attack power on turn two could be pretty nice. And Whitmer's the Agent. Battlecraft, you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and taunt. There's got to be a legendary soon. 
I've opened 32 decks of that legendary. Epic. Oh, Frost Shy. Costs one less for each time you used your hero power this game. So if you're using a lot of Inspires, that might be decent. Come on, buddy. Man, Under City Valiance. I feel like I've gotten 20 Holy Champions. I'm going to get a lot of deaths from Holy Champions alone. Buccaneer. Whoa. Here we go. Edric the Pure. Change all enemy minions attack to one. So for turn seven, that, that might not be bad. I mean, you're basically really neutering all of your opponent's cards. Like, the problem is, you know, it's at your turn seven, you're playing a card that is not going to have a lot of attack power. It's not really much of a threat besides that, so... Eh. I don't know. I don't know how good that's actually going to be. Evil Heckler. Ah, he might have got way earlier. Ooh, a golden effigy. Nice. Another Flame Lance. Pit Fighter. And Void Crusher. Destroy a minion for each player, a random minion. Okay, so again, kind of a random thing going on there, but again, could be good. Not sure. Uh, see that. See that. See that. Seen. And seen. It's kind of the nice thing about this 50 card pack, though, is you're 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 really just adding a lot of these cards to your library, all right? So you can start making decks and stuff. Master Jester, yeah, I've seen that. So, like, Bone Guard. Bolster. Convert. To put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Now what? Is it an enemy minion that's on the field or in their... Huh. I assume on the field. So, that could be interesting. Golden common. Ooh, Golden common. So much dust. Another effigy. So that's good. We could now convert our Golden effigy into a Dust. Lots of bashes. Bolster. And you the saber. Alright. Getting out of the last 10 here. Fuse. Tiny Knight of Evil, seen that. Lily Squire, we've seen. Alright. Come on, give me one more legendary. Convert. Seal of Champions. Lots of repeats, which we're gonna have now. We've been opening a lot of cards. So one more legendary, another flame lance. Okay, what we got here? Mulch. Destroy a minion. Add a random minion to your opponent's hand. So that's that's not a bad. So that 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 could actually be pretty good if you're using it on like an opponent's legendary minion late game. You know, you're giving them a minion to their hand, but it's it's random, so. Chances are it's not going to be better than what you destroyed as long as you destroy something really powerful. Yeah, like power. Yep. What do we get here? Tournament attendee, Wrathguard. Yep. Let's see what we got. Another tiny. Oh, two rares and another King's Defender. Champion uh, again with the ogres. I pay good money to see somebody get the legend with like an ogre deck. What do we got? Uh, another mulch. Again, mulch isn't bad. And I like Night of the Wild. 
And it will be like one of the interesting things to maybe do is make a uh, Beast Druid deck. At least immediately just kind of thinking. Flame Juggler. Lots of Windwalkers. Ooh, Golden Epic. Swap the attack and health of all minions. So that could potentially be interesting. It's only two mana. So something could go on with that. It's kind of upset that I don't have other confuses so I can turn that into dust right away. Convert. Alright, how many do I have left? Three? Come on, give me a give me a legendary. Actually, I don't think so. I think my things would be like vibrating if I had one more in there. Saboteur, Clockwork Knight, Get back. Tournament, tournament. No. no. Argent Watchman. Hi, person with a face. This is it. Okay, man, lost Silent Knight. So, just one kind of mediocre legendary, so that's a little disappointing. But, whatever. Let's see how much dust we're going to get now. I already have 775, so I'm probably going to have a lot of dust. Oh, look at that. Hey, yeah, I have enough for a legendary. I don't know if I want to spend that right away because I kind of want to... Uh, see which legendaries are going to kind of prove to be the best once people mess around with them. But I could, you know, get an Ice Howl. Ice Howl. Can't attack heroes. I don't know what the point of playing a minion that late that can't attack heroes is. Unless you, like, silence it yourself, but then it's going to lose charge. See, so, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, costs one less for each pirate. Oh, you're right, person. I'll get there if I buy a few more packs of cards, which I probably will. I'll probably spend ten dollars to get a few more later. Uh, eh, I don't know about that. Chill Maw. Hey, as I got a bunch of these. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all minions, including your own. Eh. Skeleton Knight. Reveal a minion each deck of yours costs four. Return this to your hand. Oh yeah, Death Rattle. I don't know. This is interesting. Replace your hero starting hero power with a better one. Kind of vague, but interesting. Uh, right, a spell to your hand. That that could be okay. Again, like nothing like nothing like comes out as being. A, there's no like Doctor Booms where it's just like, whoa, that sounds incredible. Whatever you hear, yeah, that's all right. Oh, I could uh freaking make some. Dust right now. You're in trouble now. Oh, did I just actually make that instead of get rid of one? God damn it. Oh, that's right. I'm allowed to do it right away. Good. Oh, it's a person. Do you really like just a car? There we go. Now I push the right button. Let me see. I'm going to look at just a car again. Yeah, I just wonder exactly what it does to your hero powers to make them better. I mean, I believe them. I'm just I'm curious to see. If you have at least four other minions, deal four damage. Like, on the battlefield? That could be difficult to arrange. Whenever you target this many of a spell, gain Divine Shield. I, that I kind of like. That could be a good uh, uh, Paladin card. Do, uh, I can't. Oh, I can just check this guy. Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my uh, dust yet. I, again, I don't want to actually spend it right away because I don't really know what I should be spending it on. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so not quite, but I'll, I could. I could dust this guy. I don't really think I'm gonna need him, but I'll hold on to him for now just in case. But yeah, at some point, once people kind of figure out which legendary is the best and I don't have them, I can dust them real quick. And, God, there's still plenty. 
from the freaking vanilla that I need. I could freak. I could really use a uh, Ysera still. But yep. All right. I opened all my decks. It was a good old time. Thanks for uh, watching, everybody. I think later today. I might just, you know, make a deck with this stuff and try to play around with it. So uh, I might be back on. But for now, I got some writing to do for work. Uh, so I'm going to get to that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to follow us here at uh, our Twitch channel. And, uh, you know, we, we, we might be doing some giveaways later today or later in the week. So, yeah, follow us, you know, we're broadcasting again. Uh, what's that person on the face? You could choose. Oh, you're this guy. Okay, cool. So... Describing just the car. For Shaman, you could choose your totem. Oh, choose a totem. That's cool. For Druid, two attack, two armor. For Mage, two damage. Hunter, three damage. For Pally, two silver hand recruits. For Priest, four health. And for Warlock, you just draw a card without taking damage. Warrior gains four armor. And Rogue, equip it, two token. So, yeah, that's cool. Especially for for Rogue, Shaman, Druid, Mage, Hunter. That seems really good. I don't know. I guess... Dealing, getting two silver hands is good. Priest, four health. I don't know if you really need that much health healed. And the warlock one is okay. But yeah, that could be pretty cool. That sounds interesting. All right. Thanks again for uh, watching, everybody. Uh, good. Follow us so you can see us in the future. Get in on some of our giveaways. And uh, hopefully.